this is some cereal rye that we have that's been, it's been terminated already for about 10 days. Um, we do have growing soybeans coming up in here that were planted April 3rd. Um, we've been using cereal rye uh, in front of soybeans for a few years here now. Um, we've actually been trying to use it more from a standpoint of white mold control. Um, that's kind of our kind of first uh, thoughts with it was uh, trying to see if we can combat some white mold with the use of cereal rye rather than some expensive fungicides. Um, we'll see how that all works, but you know, we're, this is actually a corn silage field. We put cereal rye on and then strip tilled it. Um, that's really where we got our start in cereal rye as a cover crop was uh, after corn silage. But uh, we've been, you know, trying to transition into more cereal rye in front of beans. Um, I don't know if I'm totally sold on cereal rye in front of corn yet uh, and trying to go through some of those hurdles. But um, for beans, I've been really happy with it. Uh, you know, it's kind of one of those, it's, you know, why, why do you plant covers or what's the reasoning for it? Um, you know, we've kind of had in the last year a lot of uh, the light bulb turned on. It's like, oh, a benefit of cover crops. Uh, I actually had my cousin who does my soil sampling. He was out in a field that had some uh, triticale that we took for forage and then we no-tilled beans into it and he was soil sampling that. And uh, he's actually a pioneer sales rep. And he made the comment to me, he's like, you gotta put pioneer corn out here. I'm like, why? He's like, this ground is so mellow. And he, and he didn't know why. Well, then I had to tell him, I'm like, well, we had triticale that we took for forage, which obviously is gonna be a lot taller than this, much more root structure. Um, I had to explain like, well, that was devil cropped beans and you're, you know, the ground's loose because of the, the cover crop or the triticale. And it was kind of, for him, it was kind of a, like, wow, he couldn't believe it. And we did strip till that field, strip till that field last fall. And uh, when it came to planting, um, our planter on fall strips for corn, I've never seen the down, the down force go that low. The ground was that mellow. It was almost comparable to a uh, field cultivator of soybean stubble. The, the, it just, in certain areas, it was relieving so much pressure on the row unit. Um, and that was a very cool thing to see. And then when you went to another field that didn't have it, uh, didn't have that root structure from the triticale, uh, we had to push a lot harder. Um, and we've also seen it this spring, you know, we did get dry for a little bit there towards the end and the ground was getting hard. Uh, when we were planting soybeans in areas that had uh, cereal rye, nowhere near this tall, um, but you could just tell from the downforce, the planter wasn't pushing as hard. Um, and as soon as you got out of the triticale, we were up to max downforce again. So it's, uh, we, we like the benefits that we see from it. You know, the big challenge is basically getting the rye on in the fall and getting adequate growth. I mean, this is probably some of the tallest rye we've had um, in three to four years at this time. I mean, this has been terminated. This probably could be a foot taller by now already. But uh, it, it's, it's definitely got its learning curves to it. Uh, obviously, I think for us right now, it's the, the management of getting the rye on. Uh, we've been using a 20 foot drill. I like the use of a drill because I can use le less rye. Um, it does act as a slight VT as well with uh, managing some residue. But uh, we got some ideas going forward. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of a, I actually had a, an uncle there out picking rock and he just said, you know, he could, he could just tell where the cereal, cereal rye was, the ground was so much more mellow. Now, does that equate to yield? That's another question. But so far, we've been very happy with what we've seen with the rye, especially if you can let it grow a little longer. Um, but we have some ideas going forward on whether or not maybe we spin it on. Uh, we've been talking about getting a, a bigger air seeder to be able to cover these acres in a timely fashion. But uh, as of right now, it's been really great. I mean, we, we, it wasn't that many years ago, we used to chisel plow uh, corn silage ground. And now I could never dream of chisel plowing corn silage ground. Let the rye do the work and you're gonna have beautiful planting conditions.